Welcome to the Human Performance Lab here at Stanford University. The HPL is a joint venture between Stanford Bioengineering, Orthopedic Surgery, and the Department of Athletics at Stanford. We have a set of experts who work in this lab and specialized equipment that allow us to characterize the biomechanics of movement. And we use this equipment to study individuals across a full spectrum of physical capabilities, from those who have physical disabilities to elite athletes who may be planning to go to the Olympics. We use the same techniques, the same experimental techniques, and our goal is also the same, to optimize human performance so that can, people can engage in their lives in a, in a meaningful and uh, full capacity. So let's first just meet a couple of the people. Julie Muccini is the clinical research manager here at the HPL. Melissa Boswell is a doctoral student. Scott Ulrich is the research manager at the HPL. Hannah O'Day, doctoral student, just about to finish her thesis. And Theo Quake, joining us for the very first day as a summer intern. The lab is equipped with force plates here in the ground. We use these devices to measure the ground reaction forces as people walk and run across the force plates. Surrounding the force plates, we have a calibrated volume where there are 16 cameras surrounding this volume, and those cameras are focused in and can triangulate, and when any two cameras see a motion capture marker, we can determine the coordinates of that marker. We'll give you the details in just a minute. Now, we also use a set of treadmills. Here's an instrumented treadmill. What's special about this treadmill is in the platform, there are ground reaction force measuring devices, so force platforms. So as we walk or run on this, there's a force platform under each belt, and we can measure the ground reaction forces as people walk and run. Next to this is a DEXA scanner, dual X-ray absorptiometry, is used to assess body composition. So we can get percent body fat, we can get lean muscle mass, and other factors that affect body composition and biomechanics. Quite a handy, very low dose, x-ray, very uh, rapid to get body assessments. Next to that, we have a Woodway treadmill. Our split belt treadmill is fantastic for biomechanical analysis, but its speed is limited. The Woodway treadmill goes up to full sprinting speeds, up to 10 meters per second or even higher, so that we can get uh, full capacity. Next to that is the last treadmill we have here is the Alter G. It reduces the body weight while someone's running on the treadmill. We use a neoprene skirt that's zipped up tight, inflate the Alter G, and that pushes up on the body so that instead of uh, a full body weight as I'm standing here, you might experience just 20% of your body weight. While you're running, you can imagine if you're recovering from an injury, that can be quite beneficial where you can run with reduced musculoskeletal loads. Finally, at this station over here, we have two sets of equipment. One is to measure the metabolic cost of locomotion. There, we'll show you in detail later, we use a gas mask to measure the oxygen consumed, carbon dioxide exhaled, and from that we can compute how much energy you're burning over a particular period of time. One of the reasons we want to do that is uh, we and others, Steve Collins' lab in particular, is building exoskeletal devices to try to reduce the metabolic cost of locomotion. You can imagine having this shoe on and wearing this exoskeletal device. It's connected to a set of actuators that can generate quite large forces in parallel with your Achilles tendon. So it can offload your muscles as you run. So one of the things we are trying to figure out is how to coordinate the interaction between the machine and the human to optimize the performance of the, the person-machine system. It's a really sophisticated biomechanical system, and you'll learn more about that in class. So that's an overview of the, the, the people and the techniques that we use in the Human Performance Lab. Let's now dive in and do uh, each one in a little bit more detail.